So we're going for some calf isometrics here with both legs. Isometric contractions of the muscles are one of the best ways to build some really strong connections. Gives the brain a chance to really understand how to build a lot more neural output, which is basically just filling as much muscle as possible, getting as much muscle recruitment in each individual muscle. So we want to get as much for these calves as we can. Now, is it ideal to stand next to something you can hold on to? By all means, don't, but this just helps keep that balance. From here, we're going up onto our tippy toes, but I'm keeping my big toe and my little toe on the ground, keeping that nice, what we call a tripod landing in that position. From here, yes, it's a calf raise, but I want to try and find my hamstrings and my glutes. So that may mean I'm tucking my pelvis underneath, I'm squeezing my, my hamstrings and getting as much contraction, as much tension for those legs as I possibly can. I don't want you to just fatigue through the calves. We want to connect that whole chain of muscle because as you're walking along, as you're hiking along, as you're running along, you don't just use one muscle. We work as a whole. So we want to try and find every single muscle possible, even on the front with the quads, top of the glutes, hamstrings, all that jazz. All right, so create as much tension as you possibly can because that's going to get you stronger, get you walking further and give you more endurance later on in your hiking.